Hi everyone, my name is Crystal. I am back, new video. Hi guys, so today's video is an exciting one. We'll be doing uh, a little review, comparison, and also live lip swatches of Romben lip products. So Romben is a very, very popular Korean beauty uh, brand and their products are always going viral, trending. So I thought this would be a good video to do to actually help and you know be a guide at least if you're comparing uh, products. Should I get like this product or this product? You know, sometimes they can look a little bit too similar. So I'm here to help you, okay? So just to show you guys, I have the Rom N Zero Matte Lipstick. I have the Juicy Lasting Tint over here. This I have two. And I also have the latest releases as well from Rom N, the Blur Fudge Tint. I know quite a number of people want to know about the performance on this as well, so stick around. I do have the Youthful Tint as well, so these two are the latest two. And I do have the Glasting Water Tint over here. And I also have this Milk Tea Velvet Tint. I'm not too sure if this is still being produced to be very honest with you but I'm just gonna go in anyway so yeah normally where I would recommend uh, international viewers to purchase like K-Beauty a reliable source to get your K-Beauty like products is YesStyle YesStyle is an online platform where you can get uh, multiple brands Korean brands from there and if you watch the whole video and you find that this video is helpful and you would like to support my channel then uh, you can use the code it's crystal 10 to actually at checkout to offset part of your purchase and it's actually a commission code so I do get a kickback from it and just know that the commission will go towards uh, supporting my channel so if you do use my code thank you so much I really really appreciate it and if you choose not to it's totally okay I totally understand uh, you watching this video is good enough so yeah thank you so much and without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> Alright, so I brought it in slightly closer and I just removed my lip balm. I did apply a lip mask yesterday, the Laneige one, but your girl still has very dry lips. Let's start off with the lip product that made Raw Men go viral and it's the OG Juicy Lasting Tint. I have two of these. I have the number 7 Jujube and also number 23 Nacadamia over here. So this is one of the later popular ones if I'm not wrong. I have this slick gel formula and eventually it does dry down into your lips and then it kind of stains your lips evenly as well. The coverage is great and there's no like patchiness or whatsoever. It stains very well. Well, I would say that there's a little bit of sheen to it as well after maybe like 10 minutes but you don't expect the sheen to last the entire day either as well as uh, this is definitely not the most transfer proof because I found that after wearing a mask I see a little bit of transfer on the like mouth part of the mask the color selection for the juicy lasting tint is crazy you have a wide wide selection I mean look I have Jujube which is number 7 and and then there's Nacadamia which is 23, you have like 23 or more shades to choose from. I'm sure you can find your pick. Alright, so I've applied Jujube on my lips and this is how it looks like. It's a very, very pretty uh, pink color, which is also very wearable. I believe Jujube is actually one of the more popular colors as well. There's still a bit of a slick to my lips, but nothing like tacky or like lip gloss, like sticky kind of feeling. These kind of smell like strawberry jam but in a very artificial sense but it's not intoxicating either because on my lips right now I can't smell off any of that scent but when you like put your nose to the, the tube, you can definitely smell it. Right, if you guys are regulars on my channel, you guys know how much I love the Glasting Water Tint. The Glasting Water Tint is actually one of my favorite lip tints. I wanted to do like a 2021 best of beauty kind of video but time didn't permit so this is probably one of my favorite lip products in 2021 and just because of the sheer fact that this gives such a wet editorial glossy look wetter than the juicy lasting tint but the coverage is not really the best all right so this is how the glasting water tint looks like on my lips and rose cream is actually one of my favorite lip colors also because it's so wearable it goes so well with any like lip uh, eye looks or whatsoever and even you wear it alone by itself with like no makeup or whatever so good very very hydrating as well and it gives that super duper like wet slick shine look and and it's in terms of like wetness looking it definitely overpowers the juicy lasting tint and I think it just kind of lacks in the staining and pigment department it does not stain as evenly and as strongly as the 
juicy lasting tint. Oh my god, there's so many tints in my head. If you guys are curious about the lasting water tint, like whatever shades that I have, uh, I actually did a full video for it. So if you guys are interested, card up above, go check it out. But this is really like a little bite-sized review of the lasting water tint. So uh, pigment, not really there. Hydration, it's, it's, it's good. It's really good. It does not really settle into my fine lines at all, honestly speaking. And transfer proof, A plus, does not transfer for some reason. I don't know how, but... Yeah. <laughs> so at the moment, if you want to compare these two, Juicy Lasting Tint and the Glassing Water Tint, you want Wet Shine the Gloss Glassing Water Tint. If you want uh, even coverage, strong staining of your lips, Juicy Lasting Tint, but not so transfer proof. This is transfer proof. And let's talk about the two latest tints from Rom N. So we have the Dewful Tint over here, and we also have the Blur Fudge Tint as well. Let's talk about the Dewful Tint because I feel that the Dewful Tint is a hybrid somewhere in between the Juicy Lasting Tint and the Glasting Water Tint. So it's like somewhere you know in the middle so this is in the shade number three if rose not sure if i showed this before but the applicator looks like this all right so this is how the dewful tin looks like what do you guys think hmm do you guys think that this is a hybrid between the two glasting and juicy because if this has more sheen than the Juicy Lasting Tint, but not as much as the Glasting Water Tint. The formula of this is quite similar to the Juicy Lasting Tint, but it does not feel as slippy, slidey as compared to the Glasting Water Tint. I know this is a very weird comparison. They're probably like, which tin, what now kind of thing. But just know that this is a nice in-between of these two. So if you are like finding that, uh, I don't want so much wet sheen, I don't want to look, I have like oil on my lips, I want some of that coverage still, then I would highly recommend getting the Dewful Water Tint. This one really does not last when it comes to transfer proof. When I wear my mask, it's gone. It's gone immediately. I have to reapply the moment I take off my mask. If I'm gonna like talk to someone or something, then I'll have to reapply this because there's literally like no pigment, nothing. Maybe it's also because of the color choice that I picked because it's like a rose color. Typically like, you know, rosy K-beauty colors, they are quite similar or close to your natural lip color. Transfer proof, longevity, meh, meh, meh. I don't really like it, at least for this color at least. But if I were to do like maybe a picture for IG, for example, or just something you want to apply like a very aesthetic picture, you know, then yeah, maybe this, sure. But if I had the choice, I would still go back to the Juicy Lasting Tint or the Glassing Water Tint. Uh, we're going in with the Blur Fudge Tint. I have number one, Pomelo Loco. So this is a color that is recommended for warm skin tones like me. And the Blur Fudge Tint, as you can tell from the name, it's more of that blurring lips kind of look as well. So kind of like a vanilla, a little bit of a vanilla scent. Let me know if you have blurring tints literally in the name, you get what I mean, that blur, that vanilla -y, powdery, kind of smell, I don't know how I would describe it. Alright, so this is how Pomeloco looks like on me, and you can tell for my yellow Asian skin tone, it's very, very flattering. Probably one of the best shades for that, you know, carrot red, but not really that strong in undertone of red. It's like the, oh, a little tint of red, you know, that kind of thing, and it's very, very pretty. It has a little bit of transfer whenever I wear it to work, but it does stain quite well as well. I really, really like this whole blurred look as oh, so pretty. I can't stop looking at myself. Okay, stop, stop it, Crystal. It has more of that velvet finish, not really of that, we you know, like just now what we saw, wet, slick, shine, boom, you know, that kind of thing. No, it's more of that velvet blurred look and oh, so pretty. Uh, this does not suck the life out of my lips either, but you definitely need a little bit more hydration the night prior to wearing this or maybe wear a lip balm underneath it but then the thing I don't like about wearing lip balms underneath a lip tint is that eventually your lips kind of look slick <laughs> then what's the point of wearing like a blurred look? For me personally if I'm going to prep my lips I would wear a lip balm maybe for the first 10 minutes and I'll do the rest of my face before 
uh, wearing my lip tint. This feels super lightweight and the point of reference I'm taking from is these two tints. I have the Peripera Ink Matte Blur Tint, this one over here, this is how it looks like, and the Mersey uh, Bite the Beat uh, Tint. I don't remember this being promoted as a blurring tint, but it has a very similar formula, very similar finish to the Peripera one and this one. But the difference is that these two, I can feel it on my lips. When I smack my lips especially, I can feel it. It's there, you know. But this, when I'm talking or just smacking my lips even, you can't really feel it on your lips. It's very, very lightweight, very comfortable. I believe this shade, Pomeloco, was also done in collaboration with an influencer. What's her name? I forgot. I've Min Minisoko? Minsoko, if I'm not wrong. I'll put it up on the screen. But yes, I believe it was a collaboration with that influencer and she did such a great job, honestly. Ooh, I look good. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going in with the Zero Matte Lipstick from Rom N and I'm in the shade number 3, Silhouette. Oh, Silhouette, okay. Yep, Silhouette and this is how it looks like. Alright, so this is how Zero Matte Silhouette shade looks like on me and this is kind of like your warm red but kind of toned down a little bit and it actually makes my complexion look really really clear a little bit brighter as well i actually really do like it i've been wearing this shade quite a bit originally there was a little end embossing on the lipstick i don't know if you can tell it but it's completely rubbed off because of the sheer number of time that i've worn this particular lipstick over the past few weeks in terms of hydration because of its name matte lipstick this is not a very hydrating lipstick. I must admit that this does feel drying on the lips after maybe 3-4 hours of wear. It can start to feel like, mmm, starts to feel a little bit crackly, a little bit mm, dry, you know. Honestly, with my experience with matte lipsticks, this could have been a lot worse, I feel. And it applies really smoothly. There's no like bumpiness or patchiness either. It's just that in terms of the long run, the comfort is not really there to be very honest. Granted, this is quite transfer proof. Let me just blotting test. Look at that. Look at that. There's literally nothing coming off onto the tissue. Okay, you can see like a little bit, like a little hint of tint, a little bit of product, but my lips still look so good. For this lip product to really work, you really must moisturize and prep your lips the night prior and apply lip balm in the morning before you start doing your entire face of makeup. Yeah, then maybe this would feel good when I have dry lips and I actually moisturize my nip, like my nips. No. What did he say? Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? <laughs> When <laughs> so when I actually like moisturize my lips prior the night before and moisturize my, moisturize my lips in the morning, my lips still feel dry. It's not that bad, but when I reapply it, you can just feel the product is like somewhat there because your lips already have been sucked a little bit, so you can mm, it's a little a little bit dry. I wouldn't recommend this lipstick for people who have very dry lips or you're just heck you're just lazy to exfoliate your lips on a like a two to three day basis, then yeah, you probably should stay away from the Rom Man uh, Zero Matte Lipstick. All right, last but not least, the Milk Tea Velvet Tint over here. Oh, still smells so good. It still smells like actual yummy chocolate. It smells, oh, oh my God. I smell like, I sound like a crack addict, but this actually legitly smells like chocolate. Oh, so good. Alright, so this is how the Milk Tea Velvet Tint looks like on me in Chocolate Tea number 2. This is the first time I actually saw a Korean brand do deep vampy colours in real life and not actually photoshop it to look vampy on their very pale Koreans and then when I actually wear it, it's like nothing like that. Am I shading it? Yes, I'm shading some other brands out there. But this... This looks good. This is actually a very, very beautiful vampy color. In terms of hydration, it has that little bit of slick moisture 
feel to it so that means this is definitely not transfer proof the moment when i wear masks right when i take out it looks like i just like made out with someone and then just like red all over my lips and it's like oh that is not a cute look so i actually don't wear this out unfortunately i only can wear it when i want to look pretty at home or just like uh, want to do a certain look then yes i can actually wear this tin but in reality because of today's like you know nature everyone's wearing like masks like i said I can't really wear this out so I would not recommend this particular tin. I'm really, really not sure if this is still available. I'll probably add it in or put a little note when I'm editing it later. Let me know what are your favorite lip products from Rom N. Do you have any particular favorites? What are your top picks? Or is there any particular lip brands I should check out? Or lip products, you know, because I'm always in the market to check out new lip products. I feel like you know how lipstick is like the gateway to makeup? You know, we all thought we were really, really hot when we started out with like lip balm and then tinted lip balm and then we thought we were like the real hot shit when we started wearing hot pink lipstick. I just got whiplash from it, my god. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Do remember to leave a like and subscribe down below. Also to ring the bell. The bell keeps you notified on when I upload. I usually upload on Fridays, so you can keep a lookout for that as well. And uh, yeah, I do videos about K-beauty, cosmetics, skincare, a little bit of everything. I love beauty so much. And yeah, thank you once again. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.